video, we're going to go through hashtags on Instagram and how you can use them in the most effective way possible to grow your audience and to grow your brand and to start monetizing your account. Now, before we jump into this awesome video, I wanted to make sure that you know that we run the world's largest paid Instagram course. We have over 10,000 five-star reviews and you can get access to this course right now in the description. There's a link there for you. And it's going to show you step by step how we took a brand new account from zero followers to over 50,000 followers in just eight weeks. Chart from that course that you're watching right now on hashtag. So if you enjoy this lecture, make sure you go and get an instant access to that course and start really taking your Instagram account to the next level. Instagram allows you to use a maximum of 30 hashtags in your Instagram post. And the best way to think of this, and the most fun way to think of this, is hashtags are basically like highly trafficked museums, where every hashtag is its own art gallery, that people go and can browse the posts, or they can browse the artwork inside each gallery. So when you hashtag cat, you're basically hanging your photo up in the cat gallery and therefore anyone who's currently browsing the cat gallery can come across your post uh, because you're basically you know like <laughs> nailing your uh, content to the wall of the cat gallery and there's always millions of people or hundreds of thousands of people actually in that gallery interested in looking at uh, cats and that's what they're doing there they're just browsing content of really cute cats and you can see this is the same for every single hashtag so whether it's a food hashtag or a beach hashtag there's people in those museums there's people in those galleries looking at your content and this is what the gallery looks like on instagram it doesn't look like an actual art gallery but basically they've searched for cats and they're just browsing all these photos of cats now the museum ranks all the artwork based on its popularity and the museum being Instagram, um, ranks all of its artwork based on its popularity and will display only the best and most popular artwork first. Instagram are gonna be monitoring in the art gallery what's bringing in the most people, what are most people stopping at when they're walking around the gallery, where do they pause, where do they interact with and what do, what do they like? And those ones that they like, they're the ones they're going to be really showing to people because they know they have high engagement. So the more someone interacts and engages and likes this uh, post, the higher up they're going to show it when people are actually scrolling through the cat hashtags. So you need to understand that most people use hashtags incorrectly. And if we can use them right, we're going to really, really take advantage of uh, these other people and your competitors who aren't using them correctly. So in order to absolutely skyrocket our account using hashtags, we need to show you what's right and what's wrong when it comes to hashtags. So you can see over here on the left, this person hashtagged money, entrepreneur, rich, luxury, and freedom. And on the right, this person hashtagged money, money, money with an uh, emoji, motivation for life, motivation 101, motivation nation, Tony Robbins, start a business, start your own business. And um, I'm gonna show you exactly why, but this person on the right has done a lot better job with their hashtags than the person on the left. And it's because the number one mistake that people make with hashtags is going for the king hashtag. Now, the king hashtag are the ones we were talking about earlier. Hashtag food, hashtag entrepreneur, hashtag cats. All these really, really popular hashtags are basically the most popular museums. Now, to stand out in an exceedingly popular museum is really, really tough. It's basically like hanging up your artwork in the Louvre and competing for views against the Mona Lisa. You know, it's going to be hard. You're going to uh, end up gathering dust out the back in storage. You're not going to get the engagement and the views going against these really famous uh, paintings. So how we combat this is we need to actually start, like in the art world, in the local art exhibitions and slowly build up to the more recognizable galleries. And the cool thing is that you do build up. As you build your following, as you build your affinity with them, you start climbing this hashtag ladder. And when you climb the hashtag ladder, you can eventually 
be seen next to the Mona Lisa and you'll actually be competing with it. You can see here is the hashtag ladder. Now down the bottom is Entrepreneur Minds, um, then next is Entrepreneur, actually spelt wrong, and then above that Entrepreneur Style, Entrepreneur Spirit, Entrepreneurial, Entrepreneurs, and then Entrepreneur. And you can see below it, it shows you how many posts or how many pieces of artwork are in each one of these galleries. Now, we need to be using the local galleries, the one that have a lot less posts. Because even though there's going to be a lot, let pe lot less people in those galleries, we're going to be the exhibit, you know, the main piece of artwork in that gallery and draw a lot of engagement, draw a lot of in uh, interaction with that. And then we're going to be able to move up the ladder as our account grows. So you want to look for things that have a lot less posts and a lot less competition with a, w within your niche. So finding which hashtags to use within your niche is actually very easy. You first just need to start with the king tag. So everybody knows what the king tags are. If you're a pizza place, it could just be hashtag pizza. They're the king tags. That's going to be really hard to compete with. But what happens when you type that into Instagram, it's going to give you suggestions. And you can browse these suggestions and you can see how many posts they have in in their hashtag and then target the ones that have less than 100,000 to start, then 100 to 200,000 and work your way up that Instagram hashtag ladder. And then you can use hashtag apps. Now there's a lot of hashtags apps you can use out there. And I've stopped making uh, specific recommendations because Instagram keep updating their terms of service. But all you need to do is go to the Play Store on a Google device. Or if you're on an Apple device, go to the App Store and type in Instagram hashtag. And, or just hashtag. And you're going to get suggested an array of apps that you can use to find the best hashtags um, in your niche. And what you can do is you can just test those hashtags out uh, manually yourself and see what hashtag app you like. But there's a lot of them that can give you really good suggestions. Now, you can see if you have less than 10,000 followers, you want to start with hashtags that have between 5,000 and 150,000 posts. And you want to get an array of them. So don't just go for all hashtags with 5,000. Actually start to work outside uh, where you think you're going to be good. And you can go up to hashtags with 150,000 posts. Because if your post does really well, you're going to be ranking really high on quite a medium sized gallery with a lot of people in there. So something like Entrepreneur Minds might be a good one to go for if you're in the entrepreneur space, which has uh, 40,000 posts. Um, but if you are starting to rank higher than that, you know, if you're starting to have 10 to 50,000 followers and starting to build that momentum, or if you really just have strong affinity, um, you can go between 5,000 because you want to keep hitting those little ones. It doesn't matter how big your account gets. You can hit those little ones and absolutely dominate them. Um, and then stretch yourself and go to one, something like entrepreneurial, which has a million posts and you can start to stretch beyond that too, but basically just test it for yourself. So. This is basically the life cycle of your hashtag and how you're going to be leveling up. So you want to choose low competition hashtags to start. You want to rank at the top of those hashtags, be discovered by more people, get more engagement, and then you want to choose a higher competition hashtag for your next post. And the next post you'll be at level two. And the next post after that you'll be at level three. And basically you keep leveling up on these hashtags and you wanna keep a big sheet of these hashtags where you know what you're dominating, you know what you need to stretch in order to achieve. And you keep leveling up until you really are in the Louvre of your hashtags and you can use the mega, mega king hashtags and absolutely skyrocket your account. 